it didn't work. So um, yeah, I had bad, bad neck issues, maybe the last um, 250k after Fougere. It was so bad. I had to hold uh, my neck with one hand, the handlebar with the other. On the way up, actually not that bad if you're just standing up and hold, you can look forward. But on the way down, was definitely a problem. Um, well, the call was a problem too because shifting very hard. I had to use my whole palm to shift into the big chain ring, uh, breaking too. Um, so yeah, luckily it, um, I think Mortagio Perch, I ended up sleeping one hour to get my neck a uh, nice rest. I got two beers to, to go to bed and uh, some more solid food. And uh, yeah, it was it was perfectly fine. I just couldn't find groups. Maybe I was so far ahead and uh, I felt alone a lot of times, especially at night. But luckily towards the end, I bumped into a bunch of um, a strong Italians and Frenchmen. And uh, it's just a it's just a humbling, humbling experience. And I tell this to all the fast riders that have never done anything in Europe. Uh, these guys don't probably use travel, but um, you know, they were in their 60s, late 60s. You can hear them saying that they're tired, fatigue, at different controls. But, um, I mean, they were so inspiring. Some started after me and finished between 55 and 60 hours. And if, you know, for any strong riders, I suggest they come here and, and they give it a go. Because, and honestly, it's not, um, if you want to finish fast and under 60, I don't think it's a matter of how fast you get to breast or even, I don't know, on the way back to... Um, Fougere, but really after Fougere, the last three, four hundred K, that's when, uh, you know, it's a really true test of, of your, not only endurance, but it's mostly mental toughness because everyone has the endurance, you know, um, but yeah, those guys were inspiring. We made few stops in local places to get um, hot coffee and warm up a little bit. The kids were there on the side of the road, giving us high fives, feeding us food. I mean, crowds of people, Villeneuve Juhel, the best control hands down once again. I wish I knew French. They were uh, talking something about Bulgaria when I stopped by. Uh, I couldn't quite understand, but once again, great selection of food. They walked me to my table. Uh, it, it was it was just great, 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 great. Uh, you know, what else? My body is good. Um, right knee, little issues as well right eye some issues maybe because my eyes were swollen um yeah not blurry vision but it was closing on me a little bit not knowing if it's because i'm tired or not or because it was swollen um and then uh the end sucked too i don't really like the way it was set up after all the smiles we had to go through gravel and more pave so-called um, cobblestones and it was pointless. We had to go in a little circle, yeah, walk our bikes up to the final control. I don't know, but uh, it worked well. You know, uh, I did like the previous location better. I hope they secure it for next time. But uh, it was it was a great experience once again, finishing in uh, 6517, which is um, 1861 average kilometers an hour with all the stops and uh, I think in miles is. 11.5 miles, but a uh, great ride once again, perfect experience.